Address of this home is 1111 North Street in Green Cove Springs, Florida. These pictures are before the renovation. This is a huge two-story, 2,800 square foot, four-bed, two-bath home. Again, these are before the renovation that's going on right now or based on when you're watching this could be completed. Um, here are some pictures we like to show people of houses that we've done and this is what you can fully expect to look it to look like if um, you haven't already seen what it looks like right now this is the um, kind of work we do again 2800 square foot four bed two and a half bath rent to own home for seven hundred fifty dollars a month the catch is it's really a rent until you own we're looking for somebody who really wants to own the house um, I know a lot of people think they can't own a home or they need help or they think their credit's bad but I'm here to tell you that as long as you have a job you make money and you can afford these type of payments because the mortgage payment on the house will be around $750 a month. If that's something you can afford and you have a job and you're consistently making money and paying taxes, you can own a home on some time scale, and that's what we do that makes us different. You know, no matter what your credit situation is, we will look it over and tell you exactly what it's going to take for you to get to own a home and put a real game plan together. We've never done a rent-to-own in which the person lost a deposit or didn't end up owning the home. We, that's because we're very selective and like we're doing right now, we try to find people that are ready ahead of time. Not necessarily ready because they have good credit, but ready because they've just expressed a strong desire to own a home and will take our guidance and do what it takes to get approved for a loan. Again, that's what makes the house special. It is a really nice, huge house. The kitchen in it's just massive. You could play basketball in the kitchen of this house, it seems like. But that's not what really makes it special. It's the fact that even if you have bad credit, you can still own this home. We'll help you do that. Uh, people don't realize that when you own a house, you don't have to put a lot of money down. Sometimes in this area, no money at all. And your payment is fixed, and it can be $750, $800. And you can have that forever and start putting money in your bank account instead of your landlord. So if you're motivated to do that, we can help you own this home. Fill out the form below, and I'll tell you exactly what it's going to take for you to own a home. If you're just kind of wishy-washy and don't really – some people are just comparing the mortgage payment to the rent payment, and they don't realize how much different it is to be banking the money in a home, I'd like to show you something real quick. Okay, this is something I, I have everybody do, especially people who are, I mean, it's very good to be excited. There, you know, most places right now, you end up paying less for a mortgage than to rent the same property. And that is something to be excited about, but that just is not the whole story. People don't realize, even, um, you know, very smart, educated people really don't realize the, the effects of just owning something and building equity um, as compared to renting. And a lot of people just don't realize that renting is you know they really don't add it up they just feel like they're paying 927 a month but over time they're just killing their financial situation this is a government website i send people to it's jennymay.gov it's got a rent burst uh, it's a calculator that compares you can put your situation here would i be better off buying or renting i know most people think oh i know i'm going to be better off buying but they don't realize by how much um, this is a situation that just walked in my door. We've just sold a hold to them this week. You know, they're basically paying 927 in rent, and we're comparing that to a hundred thousand dollar house. Just keep in mind, right now with taxes, insurance, everything out the door, your your payment um, per hundred thousand dollars right now is around 700 bucks a month. And um, there are places where you can get zero percent down. The most um, that you'll ever really have to put down is three point five percent, so thirty five hundred dollars. Not very far off from first and last month's rent. Um, regular loan. The thing that people don't realize: there are no like six or seven percent interest rates. You either get qualified for the best one, or you don't get anything. Those are some new regulations that came out. So this is what we have: people that can't get approved for a loan at four different banks come to us. Then we can get them the same rate as if you know. Um, it's not like we barely get them approved for a 7% rate. Everybody gets to enjoy the same low rates, which is what is the key that makes all this worthwhile. This guy just said he's going to stay in his home for 10 years. Um, uh, you know, you can play with this, make it more or less. Long story short, um, right now if you go to look at the home prices, they say they're going by 1.6 to 1.7% appreciation. doesn't even matter. I just threw that in there. That's less than inflation. But when you compare this guy's financial situation over the next 10 years, how much, more, how much better off is he going to be? Buying puts him $90,000 to the better because that takes the amount of money he's saving on, you know, uh, the difference between paying a $927 payment and like a $700 payment plus very small appreciation – Plus the fact that you know, for you forget, you know, your mortgage payments at seven hundred for 
30 years. It's not like rent where it keeps going up and up and up. And, you know, just paying off a little bit of the mortgage, you know, you've got equity. So it's not like most people just don't realize $90,000 over the next 10 years, how much money, you know, when you go to move from one rental to another, it's not like you get paid. When you have a house and you move from one place to another, you get paid, you know. This is what this is why people invest in homes and rent them out to people cuz you're doing this for them. It's not just a little bit of money, it's a lot. How many months out of the year do you work just to pay somebody else's mortgage? And if you don't if you don't think houses are appreciating, put it at zero. It doesn't matter. I mean, you'll never no but you just can't get ahead renting. I think everybody knows that, but when you come and play with this, you really f- start to realize, man, I am just you know, a gerbil in somebody else's maze. Um, if even if you're staying somewhere five years and a house doesn't appreciate, you're still coming off so much better than buying. So if that's something that bothers you, then this is a service for you. If you have a job and make money on some time scale, you can be the person owning. Like we tell people, there's no blacklist of people that just can't ever own a house. It's just a matter of do you want it. And if you come and look at these numbers, it's worth fighting for. How hard do you? How hard is work? I mean, how fun is work? If 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 we go to work five days a week, 50 weeks a year, why don't we spend a couple hours a month and get our credit right so we can buy a house and take advantage of this? If that's you, go to the – please, you know, let us know. Let us help you get home. If not, really need to spend some time playing at this site or, you know, you're just, you're just going to be the guy that can't get ahead. Pay, you know, paying rent. You'll always be paying somebody else's bills. You want to turn that into an investment, let us know. We can help.